Hello, thank you for joining with me. We are on day 141, section 5 of chapter 10, the religion of the ego, and section 5 is the denial of God. If you will please close your eyes and join me in prayer. Dear God, please enable me to set aside everything I think I know about everything, about this reading today, about chapter 10, about myself, about you, God, and about all others and this world. God, please allow me to have an open mind and a new experience. With A Course in Miracles, chapter 10, this reading in section 5, you, myself, and all others, God. Thank you, God, for my many, many blessings. Section 5, The Denial of God. The rituals of the God of Sickness are strange and very demanding. Joy is never permitted, for depression is the sign of allegiance to Him. Depression means that you have forsworn God. Men are afraid of blasphemy, but they do not know what it means. Footnote 17. According to this section, the real meaning of blasphemy, which is disrespect, irrever irreverence, or insult shown to God, is the final denial of our own divine identity and that of others. They do not realize that to deny God is to deny their own identity, and in this sense the wages of sin is death. 18. Romans 6.23 For the wages of sin is death, but the free gift of God is eternal life. In Christ Jesus our Lord. The sense is very literal. Denial of life perceives its opposite as all forms of denial replace what is with what is not. No one can really do this, but that you think you can and believe you have is beyond dispute. Do not forget, however, that to deny God will inevitably result in projection and you will believe that others and not yourself have done this to you. 19, Chapter 7, Section 6 Projection always sees your will in others. If you will to separate yourself from God, that is what you will think others are doing to you. Darn. Oh, there I am. I'm sorry. You will receive the message you give because it is the message you want. You may believe that you judge your brothers by the message they give you, but you have judged them by the message you give them. Do not attribute your denial of joy to them, or you cannot see the spark in them that could bring joy to you. It is the denial of the spark that brings depression, and whenever you see your brothers without it, you are denying God. Allegiance to the denial of God is the ego's religion. The God of sickness obviously demands the denial of health because health is in direct opposition to its own survival. But consider what this means to you. Unless you are sick, you cannot keep the gods you have made. For only in sickness could you possibly want them. Blasphemy, then, is self-destructive, not God-destructive. It means that you, are not, that you are willing not to know yourself in order to be sick. This is the offering which your God demands, because having made him out of your insanity, he is an insane idea. He has many forms, but though he may seem like many different things, he is but one idea the denial of God. Sickness and death entered the mind of God's Son against his will. The attack on God made his Son think he was fatherless, and out of his depression he was made the God of depression. This was his alternative to joy because he would not accept the fact that though although he was a creator, he had been created. Yet the Son is helpless without the Father, who alone is his help. Footnote 20. God is often called my help in the Psalms, Psalms 40, 17, and 75. For instance, say, Thou art my help and my deliverer. We said before that of yourself you can't do nothing, 
but you are not of yourself. Footnote 21, text chapter 8, section 6. Rejo rejoice then that of yourself you can do nothing. You are not of yourself. John 5, 19. Verily, verily, I say unto you, the Son can do nothing of himself but what he seeth the Father do. If you were, what you have made would be true, and you could never escape. It is because you did not make yourself that you need to be troubled by nothing. Your gods are nothing because your Father did not create them. You cannot make creators who are unlike your Creator any more than He could have created a son who was unlike Him. If creation is sharing, it cannot create what is unlike itself. It can only share what it is. Depression is isolated, and so it could not have been created. Son of God, you have not sinned, but you have been much mistaken. But this can be corrected, and God will help you, knowing that you could not sin against him. You denied him because you loved him, knowing that if you recognized your love for him, you could not deny him. Your denial, therefore, means that you love him and that you know he loves you. Remember that what you deny you must have known, and if you could accept denial, you can accept its undoing. Your father has not denied you. He does not retaliate, but he does call you to return. When you think he has not answered your call, you have not answered his. He calls to you from every part of the sonship because of his love for his son. If you hear his message, he has answered you, and you will learn what you are of him if you hear aright. The, God, the love of God is in everything he created, for his son is everywhere. Look with peace upon your brothers, and God will come rushing into your heart in gratitude for your gift to him. Do not look to the God of sickness for healing. 22. To look to the God of sickness for healing probably refers to trying to find healing through any method that assures the reality of the sickness. That assumes that a son of God can be sick. But only, okay, so do not look to the God of sickness for healing, healing, <laughs> healing, but only to the God of love, for healing is the acknowledgement of Him. When you acknowledge Him, you will know that He has never ceased to acknowledge you, and that in His acknowledgement of you lies your being. You are not sick, and you cannot die, but you can confuse yourself with things that do. Remember, though, that to do this is blasphemy. For it means that you are looking without love on God and His creation, from which He cannot be separated. Only the eternal can be loved, for love does not die. What is of God is His forever, and you are of God. Would He allow Himself to suffer? And would He offer His Son anything that is not acceptable to Him? If you will accept yourself as God created you, you will be incapable of suffering. But to do this, you must acknowledge him as your creator. This is not because you will be punished otherwise. It is merely because your acknowledgement of your father is the acknowledgement of yourself as you are. Your father created you wholly without sin, wholly without pain, and wholly without suffering of any kind. If you deny him, you bring sin, pain, and suffering into your own mind because of the power he gave it. Your mind is capable of creating worlds, but it can also deny what it creates because it is free. You do not realize how much you have denied yourself and how much God in his love would not have it so. Yet he would not interfere with you because he would not know his son if he were not free. To interfere with you would be to attack himself, and God is not insane. When you denied him, you were insane. Would you have him share your insanity? 23. 
For God to share your insanity would be for God to interfere with you, essentially force, forcing you to reverse your denial of Him. This would imply that you are really bound and unable to free yourself, and this would be sharing your insane point of view. God will never cease to love His Son, and His Son will never cease to love Him. That was the condition of his son's creation fixed forever in the mind of God. To know that is sanity, to deny it is insanity. God gave himself to you in your creation and his gifts are eternal. Would you deny yourself to him? Out of your gifts to him the kingdom will be restored to his son. His son removed himself from his gift by refusing to accept what had been created for him and what he created had been created in the name of his father. Heaven waits for his return for it was created as the dwelling place of God's son. You are not at home anywhere else or in any other condition. Do not deny yourself the joy which was created for you for the misery you have made for yourself. God has given you the means for undoing what you have made. Listen and you will learn what you are. If God knows his children as wholly sinless, it is blasphemous to perceive them as guilty. If God knows his children as wholly without pain, it is blasphemous to perceive suffering anywhere. If God knows his children to be wholly joyous, it is blasphemous to feel depressed. All these illusions and the many other forms which blasphemy may take are refusals to accept creation as it is. If God created his son perfect, then that is how you must learn to see him to learn his reality. And as part of the sonship, that is how you must see yourself to learn yours. Do not perceive anything God did not create or you are denying him. His is the only fatherhood, and it is yours only because he has given it to you. Your gifts to yourself are meaningless, but your gifts to your creations are like his because they are given in his name. That is why your creations are as real as his. But the real father must be acknowledged if the real son is to be recognized. You believe that the sick things which you have made are your real creations because you believe the sick images you perceive are the sons of God. Only if you accept the fatherhood of God will you have anything because his fatherhood gave you everything. That is why to deny him is to deny yourself. Arrogance is the denial of love because love shares and arrogance withholds. As long as both appear to you to be desirable, the concept of choice, which is not of God, will remain with you. While this is not true in eternity, it is true in time, so that while time lasts in your mind, there will be choices. Time itself was your choice. If you would remember eternity, you must learn to look only on the eternal. If you allow yourself to become preoccupied with the temporal, you are living in time. As always, your choice is determined by what you value. Time and eternity cannot both be real because they contradict each other. If you will accept only what is timeless as real, you will begin to understand eternity and make it yours. This is the conclusion of chapter 10, The Religion of the Ego, and we just finished chapter, section 5, The Denial of God. Thank you so much for joining with me. I love you.